Tonight with a violent day here in Indianapolis. You know, two people dead, one injured in three separate shootings across the city. News 8's Jenny Dreisler was at the fatal shooting on the city's east side. Jenny, what are you learning? Yeah, busy day for IMPD today. Now, it all started around 1 o'clock this morning. A man was shot and killed near 21st and Massachusetts Avenue. Then around 4.30 this afternoon over on the west side, another man was shot and in serious condition tonight. But two hours before that shooting, one man was shot and killed on the east side. I was at that neighborhood just after it happened. Crime scene tape and flashing police lights. A sight people living on the east side near 19th and De Quincey Street say they see all too often. Really hitting closer to home every day and it's you know sad all these kids running around and I mean that bullet could have hit anybody. And it's a sight neighbors saw again today. IMPD showed up to the scene around 2 30 this afternoon after a man was shot and killed outside the Indy Town apartment complex. Police themselves tired of the violence. It's frustrating to our officers as well too especially around the holidays to um, have to go out to calls of homicides. And neighbors say the area is no stranger to strange activity. We hear it all the time. We be laying in the bed and we hear gunshots in the middle of the night like they in our backyard. But like I say, it's, it's, they need to beef up their patrol around here. People living near these apartments and townhomes say the area has been prone to violence in recent weeks. It's bad, really bad. They need to close them down. Every time you hear a siren, fire truck, ambulance, cops, it's always the apartment. As IMPD continues to piece together what happened, police are vowing to stop the violence. We've said it from day one, the men and women of this police department, we are dedicated to public safety. Those of you who rid uh, our neighborhoods of crime, we will get you. We're doing all that we can do from the chief of police down. We're trying to do the best that we can do um, as a police department. Right now, police don't know what led to that shooting on the east side, and they have not released the victim's name. Police are asking if anybody was in the area around 2 or 2.30 this afternoon and saw something suspicious to call police immediately. Jenny Dreisler, Bush TV News 8.